Hi, my name is Mayrav Bitone. I'm from the product department in Peppery. I know almost all of you that are connected here. Thank you so much for joining. I'm excited to present to you um, our new product that we launched called Peppery Insights. Peppery Insights is an operational analytics dashboard product that will help you drive larger and smarter sales. The way it does this is it focuses your sales team on their targets, on their goals, on initiatives that you want them to sell. And it focuses your buyers to buy what you want them to buy, the way you want them to buy, according to their goals, to their targets, um, to incentives that you offer for them. What you'll see during this webinar is exactly how the Insights tool can do that. First question that you guys are, probably most of you pretty technical and everything, and you are wondering, why do I need the Peppery Insights operational analytics versus using a standard BI, traditional BI tool. Um, so Peppery uh, operational analytics is exactly what is what it sounds like. It's operational. You're guiding relevant users that are using information that you provide to them that's relevant to their selling process in their workflow while they're inside the Peppery mobile app or web app. You're showing them dashboards that are embedded right into the pages and the views that they're looking at in Peppery. So on those dashboards, you want to put operational data, things that are relevant to the sales process immediately, goals, targets, um, instructions that uh, you want them to, to clearly see, what do I need to focus on within my sales workflow? <coughs> and not, as opposed to standard traditional BI systems, analytical data that needs to be processed and drilled down, you know, um, zoomed in to zoomed out of and analyzed to make wider reaching, you know, management level business uh, decisions. We're talking day-to-day -day use um, that will bottom line increase your sales because when those reps and your buyers have that information, um, they're going to know what to buy. They're going to know what you want them to focus on. It's information they, they have no other source for. They must get it within the app when they're making their purchases. Um, so how does it focus your field sales? So some very specific examples, okay? Um, Peppery is an integral part of your reps workflow. When the reps are out there, they're in the app and selling. So you need insights to focus them on, say, sales programs. You launched a new project, a product, and you want them to sell that product for a certain amount of money, uh, during the month and you want them to know, you know, how are they going to know how I'm doing for the month or quarterly, yearly, even daily um, for specific customers or specific customer groups. You have targets that you want them to, to focus on by brands. You want them to see that immediately when they log in in their selling process. Uh, commission information. So they know what to expect. What's, what's my monthly commission going to look like more or less this month? Also drives them to larger sales. Um, you want to show them how they're doing versus their colleagues. So uh, you want to show them, you know, sales targets uh, versus actual sales, uh, also per brand and per customer. Um, you can also show them operational visiting, visit tracking, kind of visit targets. So we expect you to visit eight customers a day. We want you to show uh, to show your your reps um, how are they doing as in respect to that goal that they have. So it, it's all to do with goals, incentive uh, targets. Um, focusing them on the messaging of, of what they should be working to sell and um, how they're doing to push them and, and uh, motivate them. Um, focusing your uh, buyers, motivating your buyers. How does Insights help you do that? So it shows them, um, again, uh, focuses them, shows them sales, the programs that you have, initiative, pro initiative uh, product initiatives that you want them to, to purchase more of on yearly, quarterly, daily, again. Uh, you want to be maybe brand specific for buyers and say, hey, uh, if you sell such and such an amount of this brand, by the end of the month, you'll win a prize. You'll you'll get discounts. Um, you have a contractual agreement with us to sell certain targets. And they need to know, they need to be able to see this when they log in to make their purchase, not by logging into some BI program and drilling down and, and having to look at charts elsewhere. I'm about to make an order. Hey, wait, first I went through my dashboard. I see I need to order such and such. I'll show you those examples in the demo that I'm going to show you shortly. Um,
Let's go right into the live demo now. You can see now my iPad. I'm logged in as a sales rep. I'm going to start my day. I'm going to go um, visit customers. First thing I, I emphasize for this sales rep is the rep dashboard. That's the first thing I want to check. The insights operation analytics dashboard is loading. Okay, this is an online um, product, so it's giving real time, near real time data. Okay, data syncs from the field to the peppery cloud, and then it's exported to the um, Elastic database, the database where the, the queries are made for these dashboards. So it's, it's online. You saw it did take a couple seconds to load. Um, actually, I'm going to go into, let's see if I can rotate into landscape. Looks a bit better this way. Okay, first thing I see, I have three brands that I, I need to focus on. I have brand targets. How am I in my brand targets? Well, the snacks, I'm good. Okay, reached my full target. Um, the oil brand, I right now it's a little bit past the middle of November. I'm a little bit past the halfway mark there, so I'm good there. Um, doing well, I need to keep up that pace. And beverages, well, I need 63% more to reach my target. So that's the first thing I see as a rep. What do I need to be selling? Um, next, I see a little competition here between the sales reps. These are the different sales rep names. The green is their actual sales versus the orange, their target. So I can see, you know, it's it's a it's healthy competition. Show show your reps how they're doing relative to their colleagues. Um, I can see I'm logged in right now as Winnie. Okay, so Winnie's doing quite well. She's two I'm two thirds into my my target, so I can feel good. You know, it helps them to to be in the picture, to be in the know, and. Um, understand their, their performance level. Um, next, I have um, here a graph that shows me what I must sell. Okay, so this is a relative to those brand targets that I had. I can tap and see the actual numbers. Um, so again, on beverages, I'm uh, about a third of the way in. It's, it's getting deeper into November. I need to pick up the pace and sell more beverages. Um, oil, I'm uh, okay, but I need to keep that pace going. And then of course, snacks, I'm done. So I know what I need to focus on. Uh, another graph I have here is visits this month. I'm expected to do a certain amount of visits. Am I keeping up with that? Um, so I can see that, you know, the, the end of October, I was pretty good, but now like numbers are kind of going down towards November. So I got to, um, you know, uh, increase my visit rate. Um, so these ki this kind of information, this is what Insights is about. It's bottom line going to help you um, increase your sales if you um, provide your sales team with this kind of. Uh, uh, operational insightful data uh, below I have a couple of more charts which are more informational showing me my top selling items across all my accounts these um, reports are context specific, profile specific so the rep now is looking at a dashboard that's meant for the rep for their accounts right seeing the product categories that are um, uh, the percentage of each category that that's been sold for whatever time range you know you can define that for each report uh, for each graph on the report um, here I have the top, top 10 selling items, so I can see the amount of money and thousands of dollars. Um, I can see my top 10 accounts here. Um, this is important, again, back to the concept of targets, saying, okay, well, I have account targets. Um, at, uh, for example, this, this customer has a $7,000 uh, target and they're way above. Okay, um, so I can see, kind of compare between my top 10 customers and see how they're doing relative to their targets and which customers I need to focus on more and more. And the year over year is um, this is a graph that you're actually used to seeing on the on the account dashboard. So you have the the sales year over year. So on the rep dashboard, you're used to seeing this. Um, just to show you the capability that you can easily configure this kind of chart in in the Peppery Insights um, product as well. So my rep. So as a rep, I, I went into my dashboard. I, I got a lot of good information. Now what I want to do is start go visit a customer. I go into my accounts choose a customer, tap on the customer. First thing I see is the account dashboard. The insights dashboards can be embedded into uh, any page of, of an account dashboard or of a, uh, from the home screen, a short like you saw from the home screen. So it's context sensitive. Right now I've gone into an account, so it's gonna show me the data for this account. When I set up the pages that I want to show um, each user profile, I define which page should be account specific and, and then make, make that a specific account dashboard, uh, an account dashboard page. And then um, I'll make the, the global view, the page, for, like say link from the home screen to show kind of the global information for all the accounts I'm assigned to. Um, if I'm a manager, I can see the accounts um, hierarchically 
I can see the users uh, that are under me, that, are, that report to me in the user hierarchy. Okay, I'm visiting an account. Um, the first thing I see is what products are in this uh, month's initiative program. These are products I need to be pushing more. There are four products here, and I have targets for all of them. Okay, the target is in orange. <coughs> I should be selling a lot more of this Cabernet. I'm not doing well on this Cabernet that I need to be selling. Um, uh, the whiskey cup, I'm okay, and um, the Canadian cheddar, I'm, I'm also not okay. So really, you can see the sharp focus here that's driving me to sell exactly what I need to be selling. There's no other way to get this information while you're on the road, on the go, in the middle of your sell selling process. Um, here I have my brand targets, okay? So um, <clears throat> similar to the global picture, you can see now a little bit zooming into a specific account, the trend of you know being okay on the snacks, pretty low on the oil, and uh, halfway through on the beverages. Um, that's uh, very, cor it correlates to what we saw on the outside global dashboard. And now I know, hey, I'm visiting this customer now. In this order, I'm about to step in, I'm about to push products to them. I know exactly what I need to sell to this specific customer type or this specific customer. Okay, very powerful uh, insights that, that drive sales. And then I'll go and start my order much smarter, much more intelligent. Um, Okay, that was the sales rep using insights. Now I'm gonna switch profiles. I'm gonna to go to a buyer, a buyer that's logging into the uh, B2B e-commerce platform, either on a mobile device or using the web app. Um, you can embed these pages for the buyer as well. Um, so what I have here right on the home screen is a buyer dashboard, okay? If any, I know a lot of you connected here are using custom home pages, so you can definitely put that into you know, link to that from your from your custom homepage. Okay, uh, as a buyer, I see whoa, I see a cruise, I see a prize here in a in a slideshow banner across the top. I see Thanksgiving promotions. Um, I'm being pulled to be focused on certain categories and certain products. Um, so, first of all, um, if I want to win that cruise, if I want to hit my targets and win that prize, so my um, I, I want to meet my brand targets for this quarter, and then I will win. I will win the prize. Like it says, uh, meet your targets, hit your brand targets, and win prizes. Right. So, uh, what do I need to buy? Oh, wow! I need to buy oil. Okay, I'm uh, very low on the oil that I, the brand of oil that I need to buy. Now, I have this chart here that's going to help me decide what kind of oil to buy. My top ordered items during this time last year, I see that extra virgin olive oil was there, selling pretty well. It's in the top ten items. So why don't I order a whole bunch of that to reach my oil target so I can sell that and then win my prize? Um, this is really a nice connection of information that you can only get from these kind of operational analytic charts, not from looking at you know lists of top uh, uh, top brands sold or um, you know quantities of certain products that were sold. I need to know what are the top products and that sold so, and what are my targets so that I can fill in that um, piece of the puzzle and say, hey, I'm going to meet my, my brand target and, and get that price or get, or, you know, get that discount that I have on oil products. I have a contract with my uh, distributor that I, I need to sell a certain amount. Some other um, information that I heard from sitting with uh, customers in the beta process of this product and also uh, that started to to have a, a testing period with this product, um, customers have been telling me that they, me as a Peppery employee, um, that it's valuable for them to provide uh, spending information to their buyers. Like info, what you see here is invoices year over year, right? So um, this is how much I'm spending with this distributor. You know, the buyer always wants to know how much they're spending in front of their eyes. It's transparent, it's valuable information to them, and it gives them, uh, and it gives them, um, a picture of how much they're spending. I mean, you know, there's a recession now, people are cutting back, people wanna know, you know, how much invoices am I actually, you know, paying paying out to this distributor. So it's really nice that they know that they have this dashboard and customers told me that this is like a, a competitive advantage for them to provide their buyers with these kinds of analytic, uh, operational analytic data. Um, okay, so uh, that was insights as a buyer. Um, what I'll show you now is the additional profile, which is, of course, the sales manager. And for that profile, I will show it on the web. Okay, I'm going to go uh, log in as a manager. 
Okay, and right here um, I have a, a shortcut to my uh, Insight Operational Analytics dashboard. And this is again at the manager level. So the manager will see all of the information of the reps that are under him in the hierarchy that he that he or she manages. So um, here on top, I have some scorecards, okay, showing me the total orders this month of B2B versus all the orders. So this is uh, important for me to see that, okay, there were four orders today. Um, and this month there's, uh, you know, certain uh, close to thousand dollars worth of B2B orders. Not that's not that much out of all of the orders. Maybe I need to push my B2B commerce channel more. I need to incentivize, give discounts. I need to instruct my reps to go out there and say, hey guys, start doing self service ordering. Um, you'll get discounts. You'll meet your targets better. So this is uh, explicitly helping me to drive my sales. Um, next, I have the same, you know, kind of uh, comparison for performance between the reps. So I can see the targets versus the actual. Uh, of the rep sales and see how is my team performing <clears throat> okay um, then I can see uh, you know the on the high level of what are the top selling items and what percentage are the categories <clears throat> what percentage are the categories performing in um, out of my total sales you know to see on the global level as the manager of a whole team of reps um, what those numbers look like okay that's more informational it's it's um could be you know a valuable place to, to just kind of get an overview a high level picture of what's happening um here i can see um also accounts um, their actual sales versus their target so i can see you know how the accounts are doing which accounts are kind of below their target something i can keep an eye on as a manager like on a more global level um, here i can see some sales of accounts by category my top 10 accounts and kind of notice that um, you know, for some reason, this specific account is, if I kind of highlight the the beverages and I say, okay, this account is really through the roof on beverages, while these accounts have no beverages. Why Why is that happening? And what, you know, um, I, I want to investigate deeper and try to sell uh, more beverages to these accounts because I know that they're, you know, similar type of account group, so I can um, sell them similar products. Um, or I can, you know, see it for any one of the other brands as well. Um, and here I have again a year-over-year -year sales. Um, which is like an informational, you know, kind of high-level picture for the manager. Okay, those are the profiles I wanted to show you. The three different profiles, rep, buyer, and manager. Any questions, please type them into the questions tab. We'll do that um, shortly as you can see this is like a fast moving webinar so uh, we don't have that much uh, left and we'll have we'll have time for questions all the um, insights dashboards you just saw um i want to show you discuss a little bit and then show you a demo of the back office how is it configured um, so there are different modules in the peppery back office this is all configured from the same peppery settings uh, back office there's an add-on called pages which has a page layout designer so this is something where this is a, a module that allows you to drag and drop different you know sections onto a page and add charts into them um, there you're dragging uh, the charts are called uh, data uh, called blocks okay they're block components so you can create a, a bar a bar chart block component a pie chart block component um, a benchmark chart a scorecard um, a gallery of images um, so you drag those blocks into the page and of course behind each block or every chart component there must be a query that's accessing that data so you need to build the data queries so that'll be another add-on um, called insights where you add, and it'll show you how you build a data query i'll give a demo of, of a simple query um, and you also need to index the data why because that's the most efficient way to search through data is by going to um, uh, going to deciding what fields you want to use in your queries what you want to see and then indexing uh, those fields so that you can access the data in a much more efficient way uh, the peppery uh, cloud you're, you're indexing the data from the peppery cloud out to um, an elastic database and the queries that are done from the pages when every time someone opens a page with um, insights dashboards they're querying the data from that elastic database which is optimized for search and for filtering um, for fast speed so uh, that's the data is coming from there 
Um, actually, uh, just so you're aware, part of the cost of this module comes from the access that's required to that Elastic database. We have costs associated with storing that data and exporting it to Elastic and then um, the queries that are hitting it um, to get the data. Okay, so um, I won't spend too much time on the, on the slides about the, the back office. I'd rather just show you uh, the live demo. So here in the Peppery back office settings, which you all are familiar with, um, you have the pages add-on. This is where you build the pages. Um, there's also a component called slugs where you can assign the pages that you built to different profiles. Um, like you saw the rep, the buyer, the manager. So you build a page, create a slug, a little um, kind of shortcut name for it, and then assign that and drag it to the profile that you want to view it within the app. Then the other component is called insights here, and this is where you build the data queries and index the data. Okay, um, I'm going to start with the pages here. Okay, um, so here is that buyer dashboard page that you saw. Um, I have the um, account dashboard page, um, the rep dashboard page. Okay, let's take a look at the rep dashboard page. Um, it's composed of these sections. Um, in each section, I dragged one of these blocks. Okay, over here I have different components. Um, right now you have several different options. We'll be adding more and more. Um, it's worth mentioning right now that pages that you build like this are not only going to be used for insights. Okay, they're gonna, pages is going to be our new um, kind of way of configuring the look and feel of a lot of the views in the Peppery app. So you'll be uh, designing pages for your shopping cart, for your home screen, um, using this page builder, which is kind of like, I always like to say, it's kind of like a Wix style drag and drop, you know, drag section over here, put a title on it, drag a graph into it, select a query. Um, it's, it's really easy to use and it's Peppery's going more and more in that direction, which is really cool and uh, a wonderful like user experience for, for the configuration on the back office. Um, so once I, I click here to add different sections, so I, I have here like my top sections, my, my brand targets that you saw for the rep, which was the, you know, the snacks, oil and beverages. So I, just to show you how easy it is to kind of mess around a bit with these sections. So I, I, cho I chose the title here. I divided it into three subsections, okay? Each of them is a third of the, of the row. And um, in each one of the subsections, I then dragged a scorecard block, okay? The scorecard block is this, uh, you know, kind of one, one piece of data kind of card. So I chose on the scorecard to show my beverages um, target. Okay, um, here I have the beverages target. I showed uh, the options of either value and change or show a gauge. Okay, a gauge is over here what I did for the snacks um, or a progress bar option where you have what I did for the oil. So I chose here for the beverages just to show the, the variety of ways you can present these scorecard uh, values. And then I chose the data queries that I, create, that I generated um, in the next section where I'll demonstrate to you how to create queries. So I have a beverages actual versus beverages target query. And that's, um, that's my beverages scorecard, okay? Similarly, just any other chart, okay? Uh, here I, I dragged in a chart component to the, to the next section. And this is a, like a big section. I left it as one big section uh, with a title. I have some other UI settings I can mess with their borders and shadows and stuff. Um, and the content is simply the, the target um, that I have uh, two series in this uh, query. One is the uh, actual sales and one is the, um, the target sales. Uh, just selected that query and immediately this chart was populated with the data. So it's really very easy to use um, and so forth, okay? Um, there's, uh, you know, I don't wanna be too repetitive, but the, the idea is these sections, these blocks. Um, let's look, I'll just show you one more quick, uh, run through of a page. Um, yeah, we have plenty of time. Uh, this is the buyer dashboard page. Okay, so um, the one thing that's a little bit different here is that I had, I used the slideshow component. Okay, I took this component over here, dragged it over there, and um, I chose uh, a whole bunch of different, you know, UI aspects of shading and titles and buttons and uh, so forth. And then for the content, I have you know two two uh, images in my in my slideshow that are um, changing 
uh, from one to the other automatically. I can have a play button, I can have a pause button, I have settings for all of that. Um, I chose uh, the text, I chose the, the image. The image is loaded in a brand new asset manager that we have over here. Uh, let's get that here on the, so if I go to my assets manager, I can see um, we have an internal uh, you know, assets manager for you to load all of your images and um, graphic assets that are gonna use on all of your pages. So just like any other platform that you guys are all used to using, you know, um, you have this asset manager. Um, okay, uh, so I chose the image for there. I gave it a title. Just wanna make it as attractive as possible um, you know, for my buyer, you know, as B2C like, as graphical as possible. Those are the, the targets that we saw, the top ordered items last year, um, the invoices year over year chart. Okay, so um, I, I think most of you will agree with me. This is, is intuitive, pretty easy to build those pages. Once I built a whole bunch of pages, what I need to do is then start giving them to the different users, right? So then I have, that's what I have the slugs option for, where I have a mapping which uh, I assign pages to different profiles. So I can have a rep, um, then I can add, you know, an admin profile with the, with the, or sales manager profile, and then say, okay, the sales manager should have access to certain pages that I created. Let's say the, um, the admin dashboard. Okay, and I can choose which page that will be. That's just the regular dashboard, I called it. Um, and that means that I can now take this slug called dashboard and stick it right as a shortcut on the home screen for the, the relevant profile for the, for the sales manager or the admin or whatever profile. Okay, I'm just gonna remove that. Uh, the buyer had the same thing, access to just the buyer dashboard. And then I can put it on, um, drag it, just like you're used to doing in the Peppery uh, views configuration. Um, you'll have a new section of fields called slugs, and you'll be able to drag that into the account dashboard layout, um, the home screen, <coughs> um, the uh, sh shortcut buttons, and so forth. Okay, so that was the pages and, and the slugs. Last thing I'll show you here on the demo is just how to create queries. Okay, so the data queries, this data is coming from Peppery data, but it can also come from external data. If you're running integration of, let's say, um, you're, you have sales reps targets per brand, uh, you have um, a list of uh, account targets, uh, and you want to import that into Peppery, you can use that as an external data resource. Um, and that's something that will work with you to modify your current integration to include that data, and then you'll be able to use it in the data queries for insights. Okay, um, let's look at, say, the best selling products query, for example. Um, anyone here who worked with BI or even really Excel, you know, it's it's not that uh, complicated. I heard feedback from our customers that it's, um, you know, uh, their BI uh, power, their BI platforms were much more complex to implement. This is not something on the same par. It's it's uh, easier to to implement. Um, so here I'm going to uh, name my query. Okay, I'm going to choose a resource for it, which is either going to be the lines of my orders or my headers, my you know totals or transaction headers. Now, because I'm doing a best-selling product, so it's on the line level. I chose the lines resource, and now I went to I go to um, to add a series, add a, add the information of, of this query, which is in a, a series. You can have a multi-series query as well. So I added um, the quantity of products. The first first thing is I'm going to aggregate it in some way, of course. So I want to sum the units quantity. Okay, to reach uh, <coughs> the top 10 uh, products uh, by what's sold the most by quantity. Um, and then I want to, you know, either categorize it by, by item name or um, do a dynamic series by item name. Um, if you only have one uh, grouping, it, it doesn't really matter. The dynamic series is really meant for things like the graph I showed you where I had like three brands for each account. And I saw each account, um, how it was doing on three different brands at once. So that would be a dynamic series, but right here I could have just as well grouped it by um, item name in the, here in the group by field. You don't have to use dynamic. Um, limit the number of results, top 10, top 20. Right now the results are limited to 10 by default because it doesn't really look nice to look on a graph on a phone or an iPad and see more than 10 results. It's just not useful. And the purpose of insights is 
glance at it, get the picture and work. It's not, you know, to start drilling down and expanding. And so the top 10 is for now what we're providing. Um, even though this says 20, it will only give 10. Um, filtering. So now I want to decide, you know, which line items do I want to total for this query? Uh, first of all, is it going to be for a manager page, this query? So it should be including all accounts, or is it going to be for a rep page where I should only see the accounts that I'm assigned to? Um, The next level filter is also the user. Should I see, um, am I a manager? So I should see all of the user's um, accounts or should I see only um, the, the current user that I'm logged in as? So that'll, um, these permissions will determine if it's gonna be a query for uh, kind of a sales manager dashboard or, or a rep dashboard or a buyer dashboard. Um, here I'm filtering, okay, by transaction type. So do I want to do the top 10 items from my invoices, from my sales orders, uh, from talking to customers? I really um, gathered that the, most people are interested in doing it based on invoices, um, unless you want to use just only the peppery orders and use the sales order. These are the different transaction types. So you might have a sales order, you might have a B2B commerce order. You want to isolate, make separate charts for like um, your B2B e-commerce channel that are using a different peppery transaction. So you can have like the B2B top 10 items um, or the, oh, sorry, I wouldn't name it there. Uh, the B2B top 10 items or the, the regular, uh, you know, sales rep, uh, field sales top 10 items and how like compare those two and see what's selling better online, you know, self-service orders versus what's maybe selling better face-to-face -face when the reps are out there. Um, and then I want to give it some date range to go by, let's say either something relative like um, this week, this month, um, not uh, in the last, uh, you know, X uh, months uh, or weeks or days. And then that's it. I have my query and I get the preview of the values right here. So I know right away, you know, if the query is valid, if I made any mistakes. And then I can just use this query when I'm defining a chart on the pages. Um, of course, you're going to come into, you know, exam many different examples of queries that you'll need. Um, you'll work through them one by one to get the, the best, uh, the rest, the best uh, query in the best efficient way that you can. Um, and then once you have the query, you just go into the pages and select that query for any one of the blocks, the chart, the graph that, that you added, let's say, on the manager dashboard, for example. I had the best selling. Uh, items here. So that chart, if I go to the content, which query is behind it, you can see that best-selling products query. Okay, that is, that's it. That's really the idea behind um, insights. Okay, um, so this uh, we already saw live in the demo, data query editor. Uh, we saw the, the back office demo. Um, so just to summarize the uh, main features, um, configurability, you saw the drag and drop, the dashboard layout, um, configuring the data queries in a nice graphical interface and the chart designs. Um, I explained how you can have additional data sources, not just using the peppery data, but import it via integration. Of course, it works on web app and mobile, mobile devices, um, native uh, peppery app on mobile devices. Um, you have the charts that you can assign by profile, the slugs that I showed you, those are shortcuts that you can give uh, access to different pages by profile so they can each one can see what they need um, and very easy to use. Okay, good question. Um, if there are no targets for a specific level, meaning if, if you don't set targets in your organization, say for brands or reps, is it possible to compare to the average or the last period, last, say last X month? So um, how are you doing relative to last year? So, so uh, I could add another series here to the, to the chart and say, okay, this is the, the quantity, the, quant the current quantity, like say for this month. And then I can add another series to that um, graph, which would be say the average um, quantity over the past, um, say something like 12 months. And I can call this uh, average quantity. And then I could compare quantity to average quantity. Yeah, we do have an average function. 
for the aggregation? That's a good question. Okay, question. Uh, is the dashboard data generated from peppery sales orders or from actual ERP sales? Okay, that's, that's a great question. Um, so I explained that you could use any transaction type that you um, that you want to, to use uh, from your peppery data for these queries. So for example, in, in the best in this best selling products, okay, so um, say the quantity sold of the best selling products, I can say, okay, take that only from my peppery sales orders, or that's not good enough. I want to see the ERP sales, the actual invoices. If you're importing invoices from your um, ERP into peppery, so then you would choose the invoice transaction. Okay, I don't have one here, but you would say, okay, I have an invoice transaction. That's what I want the, the data to come from. It's not a sale that was originated in peppery. It's imported from my ERP. And then I know that based on actual you know, sales. If any of you are, are doing like data archiving, okay, if you have a data retention policy where um, data is being archived so you don't keep, you know, sync a large amount of data to your devices, if you guys are familiar with our data retention uh, policy add-on, so you can say, okay, only store six months back of my sales orders because you don't want to sync to the devices more than that. However, um, regardless of that, even if you're, you're only syncing six months worth of data to the devices, because it's coming from a, an a external, an elastic database, not the Peppery Cloud where things are, it, it will still use, the, say if you had a query, uh, the last 12 months of sales, it would show you the last 12 months, even though your data retention policy is six months. Okay, I don't see any more questions right now. So thank you so much for joining. We're very excited about this uh, product. It brings a lot of value and uh, we hope to see your interest from it. Please talk to Gali or Tom um, to get uh, more detailed information for your environment. Thank you everyone, have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.